Hello everybody and welcome back to the Funk Watch Collective. First off, I just wanted to give a shout out to Macola Soshin uh, for the music for my intro. I absolutely love it. So today I have a review from Van and Watches. Van and Watches. You know Van and Watches. That brand from LA that was started by David Stowe in 2008 to build a community of like-minded artists who love art and fashion and music. Yeah, I've never heard of them either, but when I saw this, I needed to have it. I'm in my 40s. I'm a bit nostalgic for things from the 80s. And when I saw that it was a Mad Balls watch, Mad Balls, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, back in the 80s, it was popular for probably about a year. It was a ball that was made out of foam with an ugly face on it. Now, what did you do with these things? Well, as kids, we collected them and whipped them at each other. That's pretty much it. But anyways, let's go ahead with this review. I'll meet you at the table. And here it is in all its glory splayed out for our eyes to feast on. It is the Mad Balls Van and Watch. Let's get a closer look here. All right, so the specs on this is that this is a 43 millimeter matte white plastic case. Lug to lug is 48, lug width is 22. Let's get an even better look at that dial. Such a piece of artwork. An interesting thing about this is that this plastic dial cover, because I can't call it a crystal, all the indices and the Vanin logo is applied underneath on it. So that's an interesting. Gives it an interesting look to it. Let's get a better look at the strap here. So this is basically plastic. However, it is layered. I don't know if you can see it. It's almost like a 3D quality to that artwork. It's a layered. So getting to the movement, it is a three-hand Japanese Miyota quartz. Yes, made in China, but inspected and packaged in the United States. There's the tang. And I'm going to go ahead and throw it on so you can have a look. So here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Not too bad sizing wise. Like I said, it is a bigger watch. I just wanted to point out, uh, they actually have an instructional video on their website talking about the strap. And to get a longer life out of your strap, to not thread it through here. To just go ahead and bypass that and put the tang right there like that and that your strap will last longer so there it is again on my wrist speaking of straps i went ahead and purchased an extra strap just in case because, you know, it's plastic. And I thought it would go because it's white. Makes sense, right? So I thought that that was fun. These were on clearance, so I picked it up for super cheap. So in short, this is the Vannon watch. I enjoyed reviewing it. It is a fun little piece. There's no reason why I wouldn't buy more from them. I've yet to wear it in public, but people online have talked about how other people stop them and talk about their watch. I can see how with the wild colors and designs that they have on their website. So there it is. Looks like it's time for my final thoughts. My final verdict on this watch is out of five, I give it a two. It is made out of plastic. It is not a heritage piece. It is what it is. It's a talking piece. It's fun. It's different. 
My wife's one word review on this watch is ugly. That's right. She called it ugly. But isn't that what art is? It can be ugly, beautiful, or even scary. Art actually used to be a competitive sport in the Olympics. It's weird, huh? Anyways, I want to thank everybody for making it to the end of the video. I'd appreciate your support with a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.